Oh, let me try that again. Hello everybody, this is Bella Lily here. And I'm back playing Anton TV. Um, since we last left this off. Um, I don't remember, actually, but it was pretty much at the beginning. But anyway, get going. This shouldn't be too hard, I think. I think this is a tutorial to do, actually, to be fair, but still, it's okay, alright. We got this. Oh. Oh, okay. I can't go to these the rest of these rooms. Or two. There's a ballroom, apparently. This is my room. Yeah, this is my room. Got it. Okay, um just what the you can only go to these places. So many others, but they're all closed. Same thing with these, all these rooms are closed. Okay. I forgot this one in my other game. Nothing in it, but I've got this in my other game. I've got this one in my other game. Okay. Um. Is that like a mirror or something that I can find? Oh, well, I guess I might as well start. Okay, and Oh, cool. Okay, cool. All right. Costume. 
Okay, I guess I'll do that later. Oh, okay. After I put down the cross crossword puzzle, the door cracks open as a group of people walk in from the memo m memorial hall. And the someone looks in their face, mate. Faces make the already cold room feel even colder. Yeah. Okay. We all we are all gathered here today for the same thing. It is to remember our friend, an independent and strong woman, a kind-hearted individual, a great novelist, and a ray of light in the literature world, Miss Vinyata. The cast, this castle still looks the same from the time we met. I remember her telling me she inherited it from her ancestors. I don't know. But she's fond of this castle. The beside the study, the rest of the castle is empty. Now, even the study is empty. A young wall walks over to his portrait. I had no idea that my reunion exam would be at her funeral. I used to exchange correspondence with her via letters, and we would exchange our views on novel. But it would, but it would be, but, but it should be around years since I we last rode to each other. Damn. Oh, okay. Oh, I think we're Oh. Uh, elegant, good, highly educated. She's very close to the man. By her side. More than acquaintance, very good, parasitic. So ready. Another medical history by her way. Huh. My outside. By her side, he's distracted. His mind is in a competition. Medical instrument. By two, two, three. Based on their dressing, it's possible that they are back. I count, count, count I owe you my thanks for informing us. As the director of a children's hospital, I have to manage the entire place where both my assistant and I would have missed a good friend's funeral if it wasn't for your letter. Aside from being a close friend, Queen Anne is also an influential novelist. News of her death would be reported in, reported in the papers. How could she not have known that he had passed away? Lena never forgot all of it. She even wrote some interesting things about the children of the children in our correspondence. Oh, really? The director of the children's hospital seemed unhappy, but it only took a moment for her to that white brown thing. It's all in the past. It's all in the past. She passed away too, and it's. Unnecessary to mention them. Fine. The invite wasn't. <clears throat> the invite wasn't of my own accord. Zina's wish. And I just sent the invitation on her behalf. Slightly unpleasant things, ma'am. May I ask if something happened between you and Zina? She seems weary after I interjected. May I know who you are? Oh, I invited him. Allow me to introduce him to everyone. This is Mr. Inference, a famous detective. Oh, I've heard of you. My memory serves me. Serves. My memory serves. You solved the Golden Rose Theatre incident, right? Indeed. Is that, a, is that a thing? Was that a thing? I don't remember. It might have been. I don't remember. Ah, okay. My We got... We, we gather here today to, to mourn the last of Zena. Mr. Are you a friend of Zena's too? I'm sorry to say that I did not know her prior to this. Today's funeral can be considered my first time meeting Miss Zena. 
You don't have to worry, miss. You don't have to worry, miss. Unless necessary. Just pretend like we don't exist. Unless necessary. Then what? Then what? Then what about when it's necessary? Oh, Lady Truth. Oh, that's really cool. Her name's Lady Truth. It's really cool. When the truth, when the truth, when the truth remains hidden and the facts are concealed by lies, that is when a detective must sit. It is the detective's duty to reveal the truth and bring justice to those who have gone to eternal rest. May I know who you are? Choose my assistant and a detective, Lady Truth. Indeed. And th and this is Sway, our mutual friend. Okay, we just bring a lady with a gun. Hello, my governor didn't disturb anyone. Mr. Irfrey, since you're not here as a friend, then are you here as a detective? Was he in his cause of death, not suicide, but something else? Ahem, ahem. The man standing quietly in the corner coughs and throughout the conversation. Previously, he avoided participating in any conversation. He merely kept his hand on his thick old book while the other, others frequently lifted their necklaces to their lips as he prayed in bed. As he frequently lifted his necklace to his lips and pr as he prayed in bed. Of his profession, he could be a priest. Hope the eyes of bright kids stay in the same. passing. Sorry, I'm afraid I must interrupt your conversation. Okay. Um, today's the day, isn't it? Listen, the day she returned to the army of God, and the day we mourn her as her friends. I think we should avoid mentioning the unpleasant thing that it at a moment like this. It is disliked by God. Alright. Good for you, Mr. I like God. <laughs> that was sounded so mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> he kisses the necklace around his neck and it glows straight to the end of the light. It seems to be holding some kind of liquid. I suspect it's the holy water of his faith. As a friend of Zinni as well, my thoughts differ slightly from yours. If there's anything strange about Zinni's passing, I'm sure you you I'm sure you want to know the truth too, right? The man dressed as a priest does not offer another answer. And places his hand back on the paper. DM I think you should stop sitting alone there on the sofa. Pursuing the truth is our job, so instead of wasting time like this, why don't we just clear the air? Sorry. Now that Lady Truth has spoken up of it so openly, I have no reason to at all keep it from all of you. I'm trying to figure out, like, I'm trying to figure out if I can know this, like, character. I think it's the photographer. It's really the only one I can really think of. I think it's a photographer, like a photographer, like a different skin photographer. Just like all of you, I consider Zinni a very good friend, and we were lucky enough to become friends with a common interest during a chess bar at a club. I must say that it is, according to the general opinion of society, Zinni is not someone who is easy to get along with. Some become close to her because of her novels, yet some part away with her because of the implied facts for them to the same novels. Some made friends with her out of kindness, yet she failed to realize the motive hidden behind it all. Mm. The director of the children's hospital and the priest looked down. It seems DM's words would find something. I decided to gather more information. Hello, miss. I didn't have a chance to ask just now. May I know your name? Children's Hospital Right. I love how it's just Children's Hospital. I'm Elsa Goodwin, the director of a child of a children's hospital, an old friend of Hello, Miss Goodwin. How did you know how did you and Zinni meet? I met her at the 
at a, at a book, book, book club. She's fond of interacting. She's fond of in interacting with her. She's fond of interacting with her readers. And um, one of the loyal readers, we often exchange letters. And a good friendship generally blooms between us. Oh. Excuse me for being so old. Did you mention that you haven't been in contact for two years? May I know why? You shoot the hesitant look at me. It's because of one of the novels. My hospital was en entangled in a scandal. What I'm trying to say is that, as my friend, she should have taken my side, instead of using what she knew as material for her novel. People may not necessarily believe everything written down in black and white, but their imagination runs wild when something is used as a metaphor in a novel. What happened at the hospital? It was a small-scale dis disputation infection, and at the same time, we thought of some ways to prevent the infection further. She intentionally emphasized the word minor. The cause of the com convers conversation was was our handling of the matter. I failed to explain it to her in time, and so some instance then arose. How did you handle the matter? That is not something you need to know. Mm. I feel like it is, but okay. Hello, sir. Are you with Miss Goodwin? His, his gaze wanders up if he didn't hear me at all, so I put my hand back him. Sir? Huh? Oh, hello. Are you here with Miss Goodwin? Yes, I'm Isaac Goodwin. Ah, her sister and her husband. Yep, we're newlyweds. Yeah, I kind of asked that. If I remember correctly, he this is, this is the skin for you. With the psychiatrist and the patient. He's the patient. She's the psychiatrist. Yeah, um, I yeah, I'm Isaac Goodwin. Her assistant and husband. We're newly wet. Could you tell me about your relation, your your relationship with Vendia? I hear you off you often write to each other. Is India? Yeah. I'm sorry, I rarely speak to her, so I can't help you. He doesn't shoot another glance at me. It's as if his attention isn't on our coverage at all. Mr. Goodwin. Mr. Goodwin! Huh? The infection of the children's hospital caused the misunderstanding between you and Zendia. What exactly happened then? She told she, she told you exactly and she told you everything that she knows. Do you have anything to add? But as soon as I ask that question, he's already looking down, and his mind is just far away. Okay, I guess I won't talk to you. Hello, may I know your name? Just call me, just call me Pasta. Hello, Pasta. I'm sorry for what happened. He is quite nervous and doesn't dare to look people in the eyes as he speaks. Calm down, Pasta. I just wanted to find out if you were invited by DM too. No, Cindy invited me. She promised me a surprise on the day of her funeral. A surprise? What kind of surprise? I don't know. I'm reminded of the Easter egg of, on the crossroad of the block. It was some kind of surprise I provided to India too. May I know how long you've known Zindia? Zindia and I have known each other for two years. We met in a church. I can't tell you. Because the string it certainly seems quite timid. Relax, Pastor. I just want to know more about Zendia. I'm just calling her Zendia. I don't actually know what the hell it's going He not and he sighed for me. I may not have known her for long, but it feels like a lifetime. Did you get did you get along with Zendia well? You look quite young. Yes, she used to drive all all the way to church every Sunday. And I always listened to her speak about her pain, despair, and, 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 the, and, the, and the confessional. It's my fault that, what, she'd shown signs of suicide to a subtle thought in the past. If I had been able to catch her cries for help, I might have been able to save her. When did you have, when did she have such thoughts? She stopped coming to church, to the church a while ago. I got worried when we visited her. 
she'd already started to vaguely express some pessim pessimistic thoughts if I failed to give her more help. Who shows his emotions if the prop? But this is the next one. You've done enough, Aspen. Thank you. So she started having those starts after she stopped going to church. It's all my it's all my fault. I pat him on the shoulder to comfort him. There are other familiar faces here, some of which were invited by DM. I feel like I feel he has some guesses which led him to get what he had. Oh, hello. The girl, I forgot her name. The sculptress. That's the sculptor. Hmm. Wonderful. Please put the knife down. Thank you. We meet again, Mr. Why is your name so good? Okay, we meet again, Mr. Miss Miss Succubus. We meet back in we met back in Melodis' estate. Would who would have thought that the count would bring us together again? Excuse me, but may I know what you're doing here, Miss Succubus? I was invited by Zendaya. In her last letter to me, she mentioned wanting me to witness the interesting events that were about to happen. At this, at this point, besides the, the Goodwin couple, besides besides the Goodwin couple who were invited directly by Zendaya, this is the patient who was directly invited by Zendaya, indirectly invited by Zendaya. So he was in the priest were directly invited by Zendaya. What did Zendaya prepare? Miss Succubus, may I know how you and Miss Indira met? Miss Indira is a friend I met a few years ago. Where did you, where the two, where did the two of you meet? It was she who came to visit me at my home. She was a friend. She was a friend of my father. Or perhaps she came to seek out some material for her work. But it was really fun. In the in the process of getting along with each other, she became my mm, material of bed. What do you mean? Something interesting happened to him. Any normal person would have had a mental breakdown from it because the end was different, and the misfortune that befell her inspired her to be certain... Expired her to a certain extent instead. Ah, okay. Happy to see you here, Subway. By the way, are you still investigating this village? What? Are you still interested in that No, you are stupid at this. I just want to avoid causing any of trouble for your work here. Then it's better not to ask. I'm sure you're aware that the Uto family is famous for its rules in that way. She seems to realize something that would be a trouble. Feel free to ask me if you need my help with this case. I nod. I decide not to pursue an answer about the previous case and turn around to notice. To Two bros looking wearily at us. Oh, look, it's him. No, not him. Um, I think this is um the lucky guy, actually. It's been a long time, two bros. I didn't expect to. He interrupts me and explains right away. Someone paid the huge bail. Someone paid the huge bail for me. Oh, that's really cool. It's uh, this is, uh, the 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 Technique. And the count invited me this time. Why did why did DM invite you? Smile straight at for the same reason he invited you. Are you investigating too? Have you noticed something anything out of the ordinary here? You'll find out soon enough. Ah, oh, okay, thanks. Couldn't be more okay. How did you find this place? Taps on the device it carries. My detector told me that a supernatural event would be happening here. What will it be? Write it, write it, write, write it in this room and it's about to happen. Haha, <laughs> it was a joke. Can't I just seek temporary shelter from the terrible weather outside? I could only wave my hand helplessly at this ill timed joke. Suddenly, a bolt of lightning flashes by, and then darkness and silence engulfs the room. Only the pat pattering of the rain outside of the window remains. It is a terrifying, if a terrifying, 
approaching a mile of silence. Amid the silence. Please do not worry, it's just a circuit, though. But sharing a serious matter with everyone in an atmosphere like this makes it seem much more interesting. I gather all of you here today because I wish to tell you that our friend Jim probably didn't take her own life. It was a homicide. Shark spreads throughout the room. Oh, he's now, you can actually now see him sitting on a chair. Wonderful. As far as I know, Zendaya was a stubborn, was a stubborn workaholic, especially when it came to her creation. She would, she would finish every piece of her work, sometimes even if, even in ways that most may not be able to understand. She used to hang dead foxes in She used to hang dead foxes in her room to help herself concentrate on her writing. That no. And not too long ago she even purchased a large batch of herbs. What did she what did you get them for? Those herbs are still in those in those bookcases. They're all right next to the man those man Bookcases for that. It's Delta Rock. Dolterra. It reminds me of what this year might be a rock. I'm sure I'm sure you all met him earlier. This is my friend, the a knowledgeable herbal. I invited him here to verify me. I can almost imagine her chewing on Delta Rue as she scratched. All of all of you know what she's been up with. What she's been up to lately, that unfinished novel of hers has been taking up most of her attention. I was amazed by how focused the person could be, but could become for the sake of completing a novel. We must we met briefly not long ago. Her hair was an absolute mess, but she but even her parents couldn't hide the light in her eyes. Just think about it, based on your understanding of India. Would she take her own life at a time like this? Would she allow her child to be lost just like that? Don't let me start writing or I'll write until the day I die. That's something she always said. It seems to have come true. Wait, even if that's true, that alone isn't enough to turn it in and die by suicide. The terrors agreed to pick me up at, at the right dosage, but... Extensive comprehension can lead to death. It gets a little tricky. Tricky at this point. Does a dear cause her own death while trying to finish writing? Or does someone aware of her habits tamper with her? What do you think, Miss Jennifer? I don't know yet. But I'd like to have a look around the bookcase the M just mentioned. If it helps, you can take a look at anything you want. So long as you don't mess, mess them up. The nail will look at that. Oh, okay. Okay. This is the this is the last letter. The day I left behind after verifying the handwriting, everyone concludes that it does indeed belong to Zendaya. To those who I love and those who love me, forgive me for leaving like this without saying goodbye. This decision does not leave me in fear or regret, and I am relaxed and at peace. My dear loved ones, I can no longer bear this abyss of pain. When, when I look, when I look back at my life by terrible marriage in the first half of my life, tortured people, both physically and mentally, and I finally found a moment of peace once that demon was gone. Right. Writing used to be one of the greatest joys of my life, but now that my mind seems to be spiraling out of control, I'm losing control of the characters I write. I write. And when the insomnia strikes, those soulless words of mine transform, transform, transform into the devil that binds my soul. Even seeking psychiatric help fails to silence the voice in my head. I'm tired. I dream of having a good night's rest, and and I may land, may land a peace, a, a peace be devoid of noise. Hmm. Cool. 
this isn't even like the actual story. I, wow, okay. He said, but a sketchbook in the cabinet was probably used by an author to record a draft. There is a unique smell in the book. The bros recognized it from a double he explained that it had used to help with concentration and that the work of Holly Media had a hand in using help with concentration. If you a few tech a few tech catches stand above the fireplace, the clear bottles of the computer are oh, I'm sorry, I'm tired. People catch their tears in these bottles of silver or tin as a symbol of mourning. There are eight of them. Hmm. Fair enough. Three unique souls are hanging on the wall. Eight of the three souls mentioned in the book The Infant Med Medusa's Redemption, a story about a woman for revenge against the world. I did some of the novels very hard to contrast in the past because someone else helped someone else helped the woman kill her husband in the end. Someone else helped the woman kill her husband in the end. And Naomi was rather skilled at using open ended open ended endings to leave it to the reader's imagination. As for whether the story of lived to her own life, I do not know. A yellowed note falls out from in between the pages of the sketch. The electrical incident left you devastated from the loss from the loss of a loved one. But accidents are just a perfect performance. If you seek the truth, the one you seek will be in the helm of the outskirts. Okay. Hmm. It's signed with a question mark. The outskirts. Electrical incident. A moment ago, Pass's voice interrupted my thoughts. I do not agree with you. Pass's voice crunched and seen. I've mastered up a great deal of courage. I think your ab abstract assertion is disrespectful to God and disrespectful to Zendaya. You always put God first. God has accepted Zendaya into his embrace. She is now his most holy child, and so the dis disputes dispute during her life mean nothing to Zendaya now. She has found eternal peace in the abode of God. I respect your belief, but I think the count is correct too. Ms. Zendaya was hateful of hateful in, of injustice, and her novels were her revenge. Although she may not say it, her amazing pen penmanship brings down punishment upon those who are unjust. However, her character is sometimes unpleasant to others. It's because she wrote your hospital it's because she wrote your hospital scandal into into her story, so you held a grudge against her, right? What did you just say? Her husband, who has remained silent by her side until now, angrily pudges his, his own palm. Tessa doesn't say another word, but his fits remain clenched. Is he displeased or nervous? Forgive me if I were to ins insinuate Zendaya while she's still alive. I'd say she is someone with an extreme personality and is just terribly misunderstood. Her terrible marriage was torture to her. She did did all of you notice that part of the letter? She mentioned that before. She looks down and kisses the necklace once again. The cold and humid room is exceptionally silent, and the only pattering of rain outside the windows be listening to the release secrets. Two years ago, she came to my church. And oh, never mind. More. Um, I realized that Zendaya had been suffering from domestic violence. When I met her, her husband, a psychic, a psychic set scientist, passed away due to an electrical incident during an experiment. But she couldn't escape the memories of the abuse. It seemed like the pain remained even after his departure. God once helped the lost lamb find their way home and once gave Zendaya resolve. I only hate myself and not continue to pray for her. 
The M interrupt the path here in an impatient way. The path is gripped and not moved at all. I've heard of her husband. He was a failure. You would be flattering if I called him a sight. Two years ago, the police found alcohol at sea and had a death that defense. That would be quite common for an alcoholic. I've taken a look at the files of, of this case. Oh, why don't you tell us about it? The truth may be different about what you know. The local police found a type of special lethal dosage of drugs in a system, which appeared to be some sort of burn. Upon further investigation, however, the police are unable to determine if you consume it willingly. Um, let's go back on, on topic. Zendaya's husband isn't the main character there. The Zendaya's husband may not have died with the laboratory accident. I'm reminded of three stories on one. Now make the inference the story may be based on the relationship between her and her husband. However, in the story, it wasn't the wife who killed her, it was someone else. Her husband clearly died due to an accident, yet Zadea wrote about another person who kill her. Why did she do that? Does it refer to someone in real life too? I think so. Um, Pastor, don't you ever mention you? You were, why don't why don't you ever mention your religion? You kept saying you were close to Daya, but you weren't completely unrelated to her husband either, right? He was your uncle. It turns out that Pastor is a nephew of Zendaya's husband. Ask him. Pastor, I mean no harm. I just want to know why you haven't mentioned your relationship with Zendaya's husband. I'm sorry, my uncle and I lost contact a long time ago, so when I never to the time. Is that all? The way I see it, your uncle passed away due to an incident, yet you don't seem concerned at all, huh? I have ceased to concern myself with the strangers of this world, unless they stop lusting after the world and return to God's embrace to become one of God's people. The day I was my, was my friend and a sister of mine in the, in the kingdom of God. As my husband, her husband was my uncle, but a but, uh, but that is the extent of our relationship. The other seems quite cold and indifferent, which may be, which be an indication of his relationship with Zendaya's husband. However, his attitude conveys something else. It's like he does not care about anyone besides those who are connected to his faith, even that, even if that, even if that he person's related to my blood. Hmm. Okay. However, Pastor's attitude still remains arising a suspicion. Does the hum of the outfit mention the note that him? And who wrote the mysterious note there? But I didn't get to know Zendaya because of her mother. And it was Zendaya who came by my church. We didn't know each other before that. Are you suspecting my relationship with Zendaya just because I didn't mention my uncle? And Cliff to the fifth again. Relax, Pastor. I was just asking. Everyone knows how emotionally attached you are to your friend, so no one doubts you. Pastor seems to have no intention of in paying any more attention to the end. It seems it was a mistake to mention such unpleasant matters to spoil the peaceful atmosphere of the funeral. Then, uh, then let's get back to what we're doing. It's almost time for the Ethology, my friend, so please let us put aside our pride. The MPEG stuff to take Here, Candace is above the fireplace. In memory of our eternal friend, Zen. Print take the take from, from DM. I've read about this custom. In the local region of the pe of the area, people shed one one last tear of the deceased during the funeral and saw it in a blessed vial and blessed vials. The tear can represent long or even repentance. Once it's sealed in the vial, all yearning and death, death, death will be isolated beyond this well. Meanwhile, Pastor Reference is a mention of the start of the dog, unlike his vivid, shy self. Timid to his shell from the floor, once he got to work, he sees. Stunts at thumbs, stunts at 
as if you were super easy to pass a broom stop. Tarkling catches her tears. The tears, the tears, and the tear catches. The sorrowful answer reaches me, and the unpleasant exchange from before is washed away. With God's blessing, we mourn the passing of our late friend Zendaya, who suddenly passed, whose sudden passing is a new force for us. But we know that God is welcoming her back to the embrace of her. In life, she used her talent and faith to show love to the world, unable to pen. And loved the world while her pen came into a wonderful, mysterious world. Now she has returned to God's embrace and revel in God's glory. We will, we will never stop missing her work and her influence on us. And we will live to get, live forever, and she will live forever in our memories until the day we meet again in paradise. In internal memories and day. What if we do something meaningful in her memory? She only managed to finish the character background and with the opening of the unfinished novel affairs, I'm sure she will never be able to rest in peace with her novels abandoned like that. And she's a fan of using metaphors to write reality into her novels. Why not? So why don't we fulfill her dream and complete the novel? What, what do we have to do? He turns the hidden switch in the table and a board game that probably was we used to play this we used to play board games, which she often said the games are not only able to imitate life, but they are also able to express a message through nature. Oh, I guess I'm playing the game. That's why he's called DM. Okay. He's the dungeon master. Ah, okay. You can pass around the novel then you can pass around this novel setting to get an understanding of it. But let's agree beforehand that no matter how unbelievable the things that happen to the, that happen to the story's character are, we cannot let the story come to a stop. Mr. Emery, this is a great opportunity. I think I'll sit out with you. I'll start to sit out with you. All, I'm, all of you know the day well, I don't. So it's not suitable for me to participate in my novel. As I declined, the empath will be the sketch book, and I know that she's has been slotted in between the pages. Oh, aren't you going to take a look at the novel's setting before declining? Maybe the story will pique your interest. What DM said confused me, but I felt uh, I felt he may be in the case indirectly hinting at something. I could also I could only accept it. I fold the paper in the sketchbook, and it turns out to be a coroner's report. The physical condition of the deceased is as follows. The third pupil co constriction, pupil dilation of less than two millimeters, and no obvious scarring of sign of fighting. Past the possibility of death from a drug overdose cannot be ruled out. More tests are required. March 25th. The report date matches with the day of his death. So it is possible. So it is so it is possible to say it. Why would DM give me support? And did he choose to tell me about it in such a tactical manner? President Death may be connected to someone here. DM's voice interrupts my thought. So, what do you think, Mister? Does the setting of the, this novel interest you now? It's quite interesting indeed. I'm curious about your opinion on it. People disguise themselves due to hidden motives and secrets, and the story itself is a form of disguise. But even the best disguise isn't without blood. Don't you want to observe everyone's actions and expressions to determine their character and motivation? I didn't intend to participate, but after looking through the report, DM's words brought me to realization, so I can only agree. He spreads out a row of cards with each character portrait on them. Everyone looks through the character card on the table. The novel has a total of 10 characters, as, and as everyone chooses their favorite character according to their preference. 
Lady Truth seems to suddenly notice them. Wait! I think there's a character. I think these character settings are vaguely connected to everyone. First, the most obvious is the Goodwin couple. They are a pair of husband and wife, while the while the diva and Emerson's destinies are closely connected in the story. Isn't that just like the setting in the novel? Next, it's Pastor. The half-elf knight in the story is dead feed of his belief of a certain order and are a and are a priest. Don't you believe don't, don't you believe in your god too? Motivating movement to DM the setting the setting of a state that is a mysterious character who can bring together all the others, all the other characters. Perhaps not all of us who are attending today's funeral know each other, but DM, you know everyone. Does that map does that match up with the setting too? As for Miss Sc Succubus, Lady Truth slowly down with frown, but she gave it for She brief she seems to briefly catch catch in some memory. Ryuka, the princess betrayed by her kingdom in the novel. It it's like it's just like your family and she doesn't finish her sentence and just says to me to Lady Truth gave, and in the end, Lady Truth is away. Lady Truth's discovery points out to us that these carefully prepared characters seem to be revealing the day of surprise. But why did she gather them here? It's only... Is it only to complete the novel? I don't think so. I think it's more to it since Zadea has made the necessary arrangements. Why don't we redistribute these characters as she uh, why don't we redistribute these characters as she wanted miss goodwin miss goodwin plays a divine investor a god a demigod she and the guardian angel are inseparable pair okay and the husband mr goodwin is play is playing the guardian angel under the orders of mizu the guardian angel Goodness is is influenced by Amity's kindness and integrity. Half Knight Elf. Pastor, the priest, is playing the half knight elf who was urged by his family in order to prove that he has the power of an elf, even without your elven bloodline. He sets out alone to destroy to destroy the to, to the destroyed wall tree. Lucia's spirit. Lucia's spirit. Succubus is playing Lucia's ghost. Succubus is playing Lucia's ghost. A, de a deceased prin a deceased princess with a tragic fate. Necromancer. DM is the host of DM is the host of this game and will be playing a mysterious character. Now I must trouble everyone else to choose from the remaining characters. This character is rather interesting. I wouldn't mind delving into the mind of the rogue. The paranormal detective is playing. The paranormal detective is playing Turban, the halfling. The paranormal detective is playing half. Is playing Turban, the halfling, a cunning rogue. I like this character, who seems quite modest. Tiefling. Sway is playing the tiefling who hides in nest forest. He doesn't look like a kind of character. Interesting. Kind of character. Just wrath, wrath guard. Two bros is playing the spectre guard. The princess's form. The princess's former guard who became a spectre. The princess's former guard who became a spectre. A halfling. It looks like a cute race. I choose her. Where's the halfling? Lady Truth is playing. Where's the halfling who lives in the once beautiful dust town that's now in a state of ruin after the disaster? Then only the then only the protagonist then only the protagonist remains. Me. Ah, right. No, he's okay. I see. And I will play, and I will play an orphan born in Castle Umbra, set out from home and embarked on an adventure to find the truth. 
in the story, Bruno Contimin has been dis destroyed, and the disaster of the past has left a plague upon the land. The god, the Grand Scholar, has ordered me to travel to the temple and seek an oracle for the sake of his wealth, and as an adventure begins. Aha. Oh. Huh. That okay. Oh, it's making me. Okay, the second. Can I can I actually go I wanna see the other characters? Nope, it will not let me see the other characters. Okay. Go back. Go back real quick. Let's go the range of the road, the priest, the wizard. I really hate playing wizards. There's a class. I want to select my own class, but it fucking won't let me. Alright. I would have probably, I would have either taken the fighter or the rogue, but I guess I'm taking the wizard. Oh, I've got um, remaining points. I've got five points. Um. Get the journey. Good point. Okay. I'm orange from Tessa Umbra. Tessa Umbra. He's situated on the Grand Geisha Spire, the northern of the roof. Constant. According to the Grand Scholar Urbis, the Tessa Umbra was where the wisest of Rubin men gathered long ago. It was like a lighthouse on the highest point of the glacier in the north, illuminating the constant continent with its light of wisdom. However, after the great battle, the flames of evil engulfed the continent and a plague that, that devastated the people's lives. The once glorious castle Umbri became a devastated castle frozen in ice. Now it's, a, now it's an ancient titan forgotten by time. And while it still stands on Glacial Spire, Glacial Spine, it will it will faithfully protect its form of glory and death. I was raised by the Grand Scholar Uberius, and I grew up listening to the stories of the continent and the horrific battle. I gradually became a trainee scholar of Castle Umber. And I and I think and I think I'll become someone like her too. Unable until the day of her snack on my door. It's so tiny and cute. I love it. You're an adult now, Orion. It's time I let you go. Umbris hands me a pouch of coin. Where must I go, Umbris? Do you remember the temple of the Hector I once told you about? The temple of Hector. It is, it is situated in the northwest of Ruin continent. Legend has it that it was built by ancient elven magic with the gift of prophecy to protect the peace of the continent in the name of Hector. The elven mage met Hector on Three Forked Road and Three Forked Road leading, the, leading to the underworld, and it was Hector's touch that guided him to the correct path and saved him from falling into hell. I order you to travel to the temple of Hector. Seek an oracle from the temple built by the other mage and bless his con content. Con I do not know why the Grand Scholar would order me to do all this, all, all do this all of a sudden. But before I can even answer, answer him, he lets out a long sigh and locks himself in the study again. Although I grew up in Castle Umbra and can't even travel through the, the time between pages of books that. I have never stepped foot in the con in the continent. I have never touched a tropical northern grass or climbed a dragon heart tree. The sun covers the snowy mountains in its hue of gold, and the dazzling light pulls me back from my worried thoughts. I shake the patch of coins that decide to hit the road. Okay. Everything about this journey is uncertain. I rummage through my backpack until 
my backpack, yet failed to find a suitable weapon. Even a dagger would have been nice. I have no choice but to go to the butcher in the backyard to Signia. Maybe I can purchase a sharp blade from him. Put your arms, boy. I can't, I can't believe you've grown so much. Uh, the Grand Scholar has assigned you to a dangerous task. It's time for you to take on some responsibilities. Tyrion chops the leg bone in two with ease as he speaks. Can I borrow that knife of yours? This knife? This isn't something you can take free for free. That was English. If you take for free, unless you help me with something, then I'll consider giving it to you. Okay. That sounds like a good idea. That's well, why would I steal it? Bring me a wolf from the backyard. Take take care not to damage its hide. Oh, okay. Battle begins. What the I'm... I don't know what's happening. I'm not okay. Uh, okay. I'm so confused. After bringing the wolf back, so it hands me his treasured knife. You're all grown up now, kid. I hope the serum blade will bring you good luck. Okay. Okay, intelligence 13, decentral fire strength 5, HP 21, MP 19. Okay. Okay, I'll come back to this sketchbook. Character collection. Oh, each of the characters. Oh, they're all locked. I haven't found them yet. Fair enough. Huh. Okay. I'm like so cute. Okay, cool. I've oh, I got this one. Now I've got it. Uh, okay. I. That's locked. Okay. I'm just gonna back out from that real quick. I. That, okay, I need to do that as well. Jeez, okay, that was a lot. Um, that was a lot. Um, so we're gonna... Oh. Okay, okay there we go. Right. I'm just, okay, there is so much happening. I, so long. I'm going back here. I mean, I know I need to go back there. I can go back there later. I, I'm so confused. I think I spent more time reading than I did playing this game. <laughs> Oh, but it's still making me go. Okay. I'm like, um, what's my class? Oh, right, I need to do the tutorial. Um, oh, fine. Such a long video. <gasps> okay, I think I'm 
leaving this here um, because I have never played such a long game before. Like, all right. So I guess I will see you all in the next video. Um, and yeah. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye. Stay fresh, my flowers. <laughs>